Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials and hit the notification bell icon to get instant notification. All right, so it's time for another video on smartphone tutorials. And yes, yet again, we are talking about the Xiaomi Pocophone F1. Now, I really appreciate the amazing response on today's poll about the best gaming ROM video that is gonna come up. But as you understand, that is a lot of work because we're gonna compare four different ROMs and each comparison is gonna have an interval of 20 minutes in which the phone has to be switched off for 10 minutes every time to get precise results. Now, while we make that video and while we shoot the full review of the Resurrection Remix, what I would like to share is is Oxygen OS Beta 10. There is a lot of excitement around this video or in this particular ROM because of all the developer issues that it has had. So the link will be mentioned in the description. In this video, we will just install it and have a quick look at it. And then maybe a couple of days later, I will review it for you guys as well. But before we do that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. At the same time, here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos390. Go ahead and check that channel out as well. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials, my name is Kailash, let's begin. Hey guys, welcome to another video and as you can see, we have the Poco F1 in the house as always and in today's video, we are going to install Oxygen OS Beta 10. This port is dated the 1st of June 2019, so this is the latest port and I believe this might be the last one because there have been a lot of issues related to the development of this particular ROM. Nonetheless, it still remains one of our favorites. So let's quickly go ahead and see how to install it and how good it is, especially that it has become so popular across the community and across the users. So first things first, I will show you my installation method. If you are on something similar, you can follow it and you should not have any problems. Uh, first thing that I would recommend is have at least 50% battery on your phone back up all the important information that you have. I don't care for the data to get deleted because I always do backups of that. And apart from that, you need to have the ROM copied to the phone's internal memory. You need to have an unlocked bootloader, which of course will allow you to install TWRP and a DFE file, which will disable your encryption in case there is any. So I've done all of these and I'll quickly go to TWRP. And uh, talking about the latest firmware and stuff like that, this ROM does come with, with its own vendor. So I'm not flashing anything else and I am already on the latest beta that is 9.5.30. So let's quickly boot into TWRP and then let's start installing this beautiful ROM. The first what we will do is we will completely power the phone off and then we will press volume up and power button. Keep it pressed while the phone is off till the time you see the Pocophone logo and then release the buttons. Okay, so once you're in TWRP, what you need to do is you need to go to wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik cache system data. I won't be wiping internal storage, of course, because that's where our files are. And once you've done doing that, you need to go to install and search for the file. For me, it is in the downloads folder because I just downloaded it. So that is the Oxygen OS Oneplus 60 beta. So we're going to use that. Now wait for the file to be flashed. And uh, if you look at the signature of this particular file, it was uploaded on the 1st of June. So that's yesterday. That's basically the latest port. Now, if it has any issues or not, if it is stable or not, I think it should be stable because uh, this port has come a long, long way. So let's wait for this to be flashed. And after this, uh, we will just go ahead and flash DFE. And uh, I might flash MIUI thermals later. But uh, yes, for now, we will just flash DFE after this and we should be good to go. All right, so the ROM has been flashed now. So let's go ahead and install DFE. There you go. It does install Majisk along with it, but to use it or not, it's completely up to you. And once this flashing is done, we will completely reboot the phone into system. Now this is going to be a first boot, but considering that this is a Snapdragon 845 powered device, it should not take more than five minutes for the first boot. And then we'll quickly have a look at this beautiful, beautiful ROM. All right, so next up, reboot system. Wait for the phone to boot up and we will have the beautiful minimal Oxygen OS boot animation. If you show this to someone, they will easily say that this is a OnePlus 60 because that's how it looks from the boot animation. All right, there we have it. We are booted up and we are on Oxygen OS Beta 10 over here. And it looks very, very clean, very, very beautiful. And as always, very, very snappy. Digital well-being is already added over here by default. 
and if you look at it the snappiness the minimalistic feel and experience of this particular rom is just just amazing we do have the oneplus camera you know i don't know how great that works but we can definitely all right so there you go that's one bug there portrait mode doesn't really work that well and it closes down at times so portrait mode doesn't work but that's okay you can always use anx camera or g cam but apart from that if you have a look at the launch speeds and you know the application transitions and stuff like that the smoothness is next level compared to xiaomi's miui now let's quickly go to settings here and let's go to about so it does give you all the information of course this is based on android 9 pi with a may security patch there you go that's android pi for you and apart from that uh, all the options are available as well so more or less a lot of things are working in this particular rom and we will cover everything in the full review give this video a like and mention mention the same in the comment section if you want me to review this rom and check if it is available or if it is suitable to be used as a daily driver or not so give this video a like and let me know in the comment section what do you feel about the oneplus 60 port of beta 10 after trying it out on your phone until the next one this is Kailash signing off at Smartphone Tutorials. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.